Hey, it's Brooklyn Ty. <laughs> At Brooklyn Ty NYC. <laughs> What's the word? Brooklyn Ty, and you're tuned in to What's the Word podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For some of y'all, I'll say welcome back. This is episode three of season two, and I appreciate you all for tuning in. As always, thank you for those who have been sharing my podcast and my blog and telling a friend to tell a friend, buying my merch, following me on social media. Um, You know, I appreciate you spreading love. It's the Brooklyn Ty way. If this is your first time, where have you been? <laughs> but as always, better late than never. So again, I welcome you. Make sure you check out my previous episodes and my blog. Subscribe as well at www.brooklyntynyc.com. And that's B-K-L-Y-N-T-Y-E-N-Y-C.com. You can also shop my merch. I have hoodies, sweatshirts, mugs, double-sided totes, and more. Um, You know, and again, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brooklyn Tie NYC. And that's B-K-L-Y-N-T-Y-E-N-Y-C. So let's get into it. Yo, it's your boy King Spills BK, and you're tuned in to What's the Word podcast with my girl Brooklyn Tie. Yeah. Today's episode is special. (laughs) I recently got to finally chop it up with my brother from another mother, DJ B. He's too humble to admit it, but he's like a DJ legend. Um, Like, (laughs) I've been a fan for many, many years. He's been in the business for like over 20 years. And for the last 12 years, I've been a major and huge supporter of his brands and everything he really does, you know, for the most part. Um, Fresh Radio has been going strong for 12 years. And at the time of this interview, we were at his record shop in Norfolk, VA. Freshtopia is what it's called. And we celebrated 12 years fresh. October 10th of 2010 is when he started Fresh Radio. So, you know, we got into that. I was able to interview him and I have a YouTube that I'll link at the end or I'll just link to this episode so y'all can check that out. Let's get into Ty Talks. What's good? It's your boy Ozzy Oz representing that Weekend Hype Show. Yo, I'm here with What's the Word with Brooklyn Ty. What's good? Let's get hype. So on today's Thai Talk, I want to give a special shout out and congratulations to my son, not to brag, uh, Antonio Artis, who is currently in Atlanta on tour rehearsing for New Jack City Live, which will be coming to a city and state near you. This play stars the legendary like (laughs) Big Daddy Kane. Tretch from Naughty by Nature, Flex the Comedian, Alan Payne, who is also in the original movie, New Jack City. So be sure to get your tickets ASAP at NewJackCityLive.com or Ticketmaster. They're already selling out. So first stop is November 4th and November 5th in Philly at the Met. So check them out there or They'll be going to Baltimore and then they'll be going to D.C. D.C. already got a show, a show, um, two shows actually in one night sold out. So y'all have to hurry up and get your tickets because they are going fast. So y'all really have no idea how proud I am of, of my son. You know, he's been doing big things for a minute now. And this is like major, major, one of his first major things that he's doing you know he recently just graduated from college with a bfa degree so you know it's always good to see someone who's graduated with a degree and doing something in that field because you know these days it's hard like the grind and and everything is is hard right now so you know 
what else? Um, that, you know, so again, congratulations to my son. I don't want to really like, you know, feel, seem like I'm bragging, but, you know, I am proud. So as I should be. Uh, what else is going on? I don't know if y'all felt this shift in the atmosphere lately. Like people who have been your yeah, diehard or, you know, your day ones have been really showing their true colors. I know it's not just me. I know after we had that full moon on October 9th, like the world's been crazy with a lot of th- different things. Like, you know, with per- personally with people and like just people who have had friends or have even had family members who have like really been showing the fuck off. Like, so like, if you know me, you know, like I meditate, I'm into yoga, healing crystals, money trees, sage, all of that, like not to the extreme, but as I've been learning more, I've been putting it, put it into practice. So like the more you step, into positive light, things start to really show, you know, show show up and like just make you realize the people in your life who need to be there and the people that you shouldn't have around. So like I always say like my motto is life is what you make it, so make it great. Right? So I'm going to definitely have merch that says that coming soon. So stay tuned for that, you know, but basically like if you don't want drama, you shouldn't keep people that bring drama or or always carry drama around with them around you. Right. Those are the people that we need to keep away from us. If you want to travel, you should be around people that travel or people that also would like to travel so that. Y'all can share experiences or discuss places that you want to go, maybe even go together because you don't always have to travel with someone. You know, you just have to be safe if you are traveling alone. You know, so what I've been doing and practicing is asking God or even like my ancestors to remove the people and things that don't benefit my life. So I think you should try it, practice it. Do it on a daily basis. What I've also been doing before I open my eyes in the morning, I recite something like three times. So like this morning was, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. So that has so far, my day has been going good. I don't feel angry. I haven't really been on social media, which has also been like, that's another thing. We're focusing too much on being on our phones and having a lot of the negative things that are being seen and shared on social media, you know, it's kind of keeping us down, keeping us in a negative feeling in our heart and seeing like a seeing sad stuff over and over and over again is not good. So I challenge you to kind of keep people who are positive or people that you can support with their business or their podcast or just spiritually people that do those kind of things. I think that's what we should be sharing because it does make a difference in what you see with your, the reels and also like your explore page. The more you like, or the more you focus on seeing positive stuff, the more positive stuff will be brought to you. And that's just like in real life as well. So do that. And that's really all I have for Thai Talks, to be honest. So now we can get into what I'm listening to. Yo, what up? This is Ben from the Jungle Brothers, and you are now listening to What's the Word Podcast. So what I've been listening to, again, kind of staying in positive light and being in a positive feeling in my spirit and my movement and the people I carry around me um, on Spotify, there's a playlist called Jazz Fruit Music. I'll also drop the link to that 
on this episode. But that's just like jazzy kind of music that just kind of sets the tone when I'm just sitting in the room doing nothing or even cleaning or even just writing or maybe even just going through different pictures or memories. Like that's a playlist I've been listening to just to kind of like ease my mind from the things that are going on in this world. Um, also, one of my favorite singers, um, artists, um, Sir, S-I-R, he has a single that I just added to like on my repeat playlist. It's called Nothing Even Matters. Check that out. I'll have a link to that as well in this episode. And keeping it old school, I don't know why I've been in like my 90s bag lately, but I've been listening to Donnell Jones' Where I Want to Be. That came out in 1999, and that was the year I was pregnant with my son, and it was a very crazy situation, especially just having my daughter a year before. They actually just had a birthday, October 19th. Um, 23 and 24. Yes, I had them back to back. Long story. That'll be in my memoir one day. But, um, <laughs> yeah, those are, those are the things that I'm listening to right now. So, um, now we can check out what I'm watching. Let's get into what I'm watching. You're now listening to What's the World podcast with Brooklyn Top. So, what I'm watching is on Netflix, I just watched a movie called A Jazz Man's Blues, which is with Soleil Pfeiffer and Joshua Boone. Dope movie. It's kind of like the way it starts is, and the way it ends, you don't really expect the ending, but it's basically about a, a, a black female who can go or can pass as a white girl and her mother makes her pass as a white girl. Of course, this is back in the days. Um, And so she lives a life as a black girl, but she is in love with a black man. And I won't, as always, if you have not listened before, just know I don't like to give spoilers, but any movie or anything that I'm telling you that I'm watching or even that I'm listening to or that I'm reading is definitely a must watch, listen or, or read. Trust me. So again, that's on Netflix, like jazz man's blues. Um, also on Netflix, Lou with journey Smollett and Allison Janey. That movie is very good. It's about a single mother who's basically on a run from, uh, an abusive husband who's the father of the child. But the plot twist is like basically the lady, the relation of the lady who has been like a mean person to them for some time. So check that out. Again, that's Lou on Netflix. And Alice. Alice has Kiki Palmer in common. It's kind of like a funny slash like power to the people kind of movie um, with, you know, that's on stars. Um, basically, it's kind of like being woke or like being so close to freedom and not realizing until one day you just get so fed up and you like, fuck this shit, I'm out. And you don't have to go far to realize that all this time on the other side of the trees, people, black people have been living free and doing some, doing some things like watch that. That's Alice on stars. And that's what I'm watching. What's up, y'all? This is Rashad Wright, Never Been Wrong. And you are tuned into What's the Word Brooklyn Podcast with Brooklyn Todd. What I'm reading. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Jonathan Major. But if y'all don't know who Jonathan Major is, y'all need to check out Jonathan Major. Actor. Sexy. Like, ugh. Um, He's actually on the cover of Men's Health magazine. So y'all need to check that out. 
Uh, that is for the, I believe that is the November 2022 uh, edition. I believe so. I don't have it right here in front of me, but I'm almost sure. Men's Health, November 2022. Jonathan Major on the cover. Check that out. Janet Jackson uh, was also on the cover recently on Essence. Not sure if I mentioned that in the last episode, but I've been reading that and Serena Williams. Serena Williams just recently retired from tennis and she's on Vogue. So y'all need to check that out. You know, she's been around for a long time. Me and her aren't that far in age. She's a goat in tennis. Like, she's amazing. I actually paid $9.99. So, you know, when I tell y'all what I say is bomb, like what I say is bomb. Um, $9.99 plus tax for a Vogue magazine, which I've, which I never do. Like, it has to be someone black or someone worth it. Um, to be on the cover of a non-black magazine for me to pay that much. <laughs> so, like, I, I usually stick with Essence, Ebony, you know, but she's on Vogue September 2022 cover. And, you know, she started with her sister playing tennis, went on to be a legend. And, you know, shout out to my Auntie Rhonda, who got me into watching him because I could never really understand. I still don't really understand the concept of tennis besides the ball, not going out the white line, but that's a sport that you have to be really active, healthy, have a good breathing capacity in your lungs, have very good lungs to be able to run back and forth, swing without throwing your arm out of socket because I've played tennis before and it's not easy at all. So (laughs) check those out. And that's what I'm reading. Yo, what up, fam? It's your friendly neighborhood fly guy, Cool Kim. I just want to send my condolences to everyone opposing this because right now I'm on What's the Word podcast with my sister, Brooklyn Ty. And listen, it ain't no lie. Anything we do, stay fly. You understand? Keep tuning in. So much more to come. Peace. And now, before we get into my interview with DJB, I wanted to, of course, give you people I think you should know. So people I think you should know is She Got the Juice, created by Camille, a black dope chick I met back in Brooklyn um, at a holiday bazaar. A black-owned brand with pins, cards, like stickers, various ways to celebrate black women or women in general. Um, so check them out. Follow them at She Got the Juice. And you can shop their merch at She Got the Juice.com. Tell them I sent you. And now let's get into my convo with my favorite turntablist of all times, DJ B, aka Beezus the DJ. What's up, everybody? This is Steph Love, and you are tuned in to What's the Word podcast with Brooklyn Tide. All right, so I got my one and only favorite DJ, DJ B. What up, what up, what up? You say that about all the DJs. No, but you're my favorite. <laughs> you're my favorite turntablist of all times. You are who I've gotten my best friends from, my music wow. education. And just, you know, a lot of funny and hip hop experiences. Because, yeah. like, who else have I traveled for one day for a few hours just for a Fresh Friday event? But, well, first of all, thank you for that. And you've been down <laughs> since day one. Um, at the time of this recording, it's our 12th birthday, Fresh Radio's 12th birthday. And the first interview I did with you, I was launching Fresh Radio. Yes, yes. And we believe that was over 12 years ago. We're definitely going to get into that All because... Right. Well, so, so before we do, let me say thank you because you went about day one. You came to our first Fresh Radio event. Um, and like you said, you traveled to rock with us. Um, and it's... I did. But it was all genuine. It wasn't like, hey, Ty, 
Come here. Hey, Ty, come here. It was something that you wanted to do. Right, um, definitely. And, and that's what we built Fresh Radio on is, is really authenticity and or, organic. You know what I mean? Um, I see different brands doing um, crowdfunding. Um, I see different brands spam people with um, emails or, or whatever their methods are. And I... Me building Fresh Radio was more about, um, and I'm like answering questions before you ask. I know, you good, you good. Um, more about how I grew up and how I got my information. I got a lot of my information from music and from hip hop and from the radio. So for cats like Red Alert to co-sign for what I do, I don't know how to that still hasn't sunken in. B alert hasn't sunken in yet. Yeah. Red calling me randomly about things hasn't sunken in sunken in. Um DJs that I look up to showing love and giving props to what I do and appreciating it hasn't sunken in yet. Why? Because um I mean I'm doing what I love to do. I'm just doing it and I want to do my part in saving this culture. It changes. It changes often. Definitely. But, but if it changed so much and nobody preserves the foundation, it could it can be rewritten. Like history. History. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So yep. if people stop telling the story or people and, and showing the proof behind the story, it could be rewritten because when we're gone, it could be a totally different thing. It could be a totally different thing. This is true. So, but again, thank you for uh, believing in us and supporting us 100%. Um, all no day. doubt. I was thinking, so I was watching the first interview, like you mentioned. I'm a, I'm a definitely link and attach to the YouTube that was done. But one of the questions was like, who would you like to have? Do a Fresh Friday event. Oh, play that clip. Because I want to see I'm, if I'm going to see if I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to definitely. <laughs> play the clip. I'm going to play the clip. Go to the clip now. And now we back. I... Uh... <laughs> yeah. So one of the questions I had asked was like, who would you like to have? And you was like, you know, Nice Wonder, Shit. Red Alert. Shit. Um, Scratch, of course, and that's when I got stupid because back then, before that was even before I met him in like real life, like that was like some of the people that you mentioned, and, and yeah, and still it. you did it one time for uh, my wife, y'all know his boss lady, uh, Kasia, which is for the kids' names, that's why we call it Kasia, their first names, but um, she made it happen. I'm I'm about the music. I want to stay behind the turntables, and she handles a lot of the other stuff that I don't want to handle, um, and, and, and make sure it, it, it works. So, first of all, I want to credit her for doing all that. Yeah, we brought Night Wonder. Shout out to we, her. We brought Red. We brought Scratch. We brought Quest Love. We brought Stretch Armstrong. We brought Rob Digger. We brought Torre. We brought Diamond D. We brought Rich Madina. Uh, house Rich shoes. Martina, Rich Martina, like, these house are people shoes. that I didn't even know. Like, and now, and now like, I've been a fan ever, you see what ever they, since. And why they, like, why, what's the big deal about <laughs> it? Like, why would you bring them? Like, we was only bringing um, people that fit the format of Fresh Radio and has that same that same goal as preserving good music. Not just even hip-hop, just good music. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like, Rich came through and murdered a Brazil set. They weren't ready for that. And they loved it. You yeah, know what I mean? That was so, crazy. Um, that was crazy. We brought Diamond D, Lord Finesse. Uh, we had Dilla Tributes. We have the Inti Marauders. We had 10 Sneaker Balls, which I am... Yes. Sad. Some of them I don't remember. <laughs> But we've done 10 sneaker balls, and this year would have been our 11th, but I don't think we're going to do it anymore because the sneaker ball is popping up all over the place. Yeah, that's true. And um, and I just like doing stuff that nobody's doing. Um, I'm consistent with what I do. We've had 10. It's yeah. been a good run in your sneakers. Right, right, sneaker right. Girl. So stay right. tuned because we, 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 we uh, brainstorm. We got, we got some cooking. <laughs> you got some cooking. That's what's up. So who haven't you done like a Fresh Friday or like been next to DJing next to that you want? That I want to? To, do, to still um, like side by side. 
I had the honor to go to Jeff Cribb and have him broadcast a set on Fresh Radio. Remember that. Remember um, that. But I would like to DJ beside him, and I haven't done that yet. Um, so shouts to Jazzy Jeff. Um, Melo D out on the West Coast, who's one of my favorite DJs of all time. He's in my top five. Um, I haven't had a chance. Um, was crazy before I launched Fresh Radio and before we found out what happened. Well, allegedly, allegedly what happened. I did it. I had it. I did an event. It wasn't my event, but I did an event with Bambada, and that was wow. a major thing. He used my mixer, and I still got that mixer. Um, just for, you know, I didn't know what was going on allegedly, but just that. Um, having that happen was something crazy. Um, I think hurt. I think hurt. And what's ill? And you mentioned scratch earlier. There's a. I have a picture of scratch in a fresh radio shirt in a studio with Cool Hurt. That's dope. You know what I mean? That's dope. Shouts to Scratch, yeah. uh, who allowed me on his platform, Scratch Vision Radio Weekly. Um, so just. Um, it, it's I, it's it's hard to explain without just saying like like I'm doing what I love to do. That's what's up, and you doing it like for real. I'm in VA now, but like we travel. You come to do Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, yeah, which they too. don't do those no more. That. Um, we've been to DC, New Orleans. We all Orleans. like, and when I say you the. You, you sure you've been to New Orleans? Because you don't remember none of that. Yo, I definitely, if it wasn't for the pictures, <laughs> you would I wouldn't remember, that. like, Yo. from, like, 10 minutes in, I was done. In your defense, done. You was, <laughs> in your defense it's traveling and, and, you know, what you yeah, did to get that's, there. Yeah, for and real. Then, and then we fed you And then, all. yeah, man, it was, that yeah. was a wrap. But, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we done, we, like, the way the Fresh Hands pull up for you is, like, dope. Like, even you having local DJs, you know, R.I.P. to um, Puff Dragon, yeah. like, that, him, I remember him just with the socks. That was my, that was one of my biggest pictures, catching him with see what socks he was showing up in. And, like, you've been worldwide almost, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, you got to think, I always... It's 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 almost it's seven point whatever billion people in the world. You can't just cater to your block, right? You know what I mean? It's I mean think about how much a billion is, and it's over seven of that human beings, which means there's more than three people that's into what you're into, right? And if they're not messing with you, if you do it genuine, if you're consistent with it, they'll end up finding you eventually. I mean, it's, it, we're 12 years fresh, but in 20 years, I plan on still being fresh. Right. But there's going to be somebody new that's 20 years late. You know what I mean? And Ooh, you still have to be. That. <laughs> and you still have to be like it's the first day. You still have to be as, as, as hungry as the first day. If not, and that's their first impression of you. They gone. You know what I mean? Sure. So, so what, what was that commercial? What was that brand? It was like you never get a second chance to make a first impression. But how ill is that? Because you don't. The second, you know, if your first, the first impression of of them, do you curse in your podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't fucking with you no more. Right. You know what I mean? So your first, your first impression needs to be how you want them to see you. Right. I think I think like DJing to me is like like comedians. You got to take a whole room before the, the before the crowd got there. They done got cut off driving in. They spouse acting up. They you don't kids. Know what you, you don't know what they're going through. Right. So, but you got to with whatever your talent is, gotta you got to get everybody to react. Course. Exactly. You and that, on the same that way, shit is hard. That shit is hard. It's hard. It's challenging. But I'm sure with being a comedian is, is a different challenge. It might be a little harder because, you know, you have to come up with the material. I have to figure out what to play. The material is there already. Right. The media got to come up with the material. But you right? still got to present. Oh, yeah. Your presentation got to be Presentation is got to yeah. be on point. You got to be on point. And, and I'm very big on presentation. The problem is, and when I stopped DJing in the clubs, is the most of the people that was going to the clubs, they don't care about the presentation. Just play them songs that I know. Right. I don't care how you play it. 
I don't care if you played it 20 times. I want to hear it again. I'm from an era when, when oh, you missed it. But don't worry about it. I got you because I'm, I'm going to keep playing bangers in the way I play it. You, you ain't even know you wanted to hear this record. Right. And I don't think I've ever heard you play, like, the same song in the same way. Oh, no. Nah. Like, all your mixes are different. It's got to be different because why listen again? Right. This is true. <laughs> if, 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 this is true. If you're predictable, right. then, oh, no, nah, I know yeah. what you want to play. I'm good. I'll go listen to something else. Or I'll go to another event. So Because some I, DJs, you know not to cut yeah. you off. You already know what they next. That, that bothers me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you want to play. So how are you enjoying something when you know what's going on? Right. I think... You already a step yeah, ahead because yeah, yeah. you know what's coming up. But on another on another level... Okay, so... I I, had, I just had so many daggone questions you for you. But, um... All right, so... I want to know, like, what's something that your fans or people that have been rocking with you for, like, forever... Like something that they don't know about you. My real name. <laughs> and you know what? That's the daggone truth because that's one thing I don't want to know. I think I know, but I don't. Eat, I don't want to know. That's one thing that's true. I don't. I. I have. I think I do, but I don't. I don't even want to know. That's yeah. I, I knew you was gonna say that. I somehow knew. But um. That was one thing you was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But it's, I think, and you know, the reason why that is because everybody else knows everything else about me. All I do is music and family. I don't have anything else to say. Right. I don't have anything else to tell you. Um, I'm not, pri- I mean, I'm proud of my family. I mean, you know, you, it's social media, so you, I try to be private, but sometimes, you know, you post something because you're proud. Right. Um, so people know I got kids. People know I'm married. People know I'm a, I, I, I do anything for my kids and I'm a father, and they know I DJ. But guess what? That's all I do. So it's nothing else for really. That's true. So that's, <laughs> so that's that's why I've never really shared my name because personally, I I gotta have something. Um, sure. But I will tell you, um, my name's Swahili. And all my first cousins, we all got African names. That's something my my mom, pops, and my uncle and aunts did. They wanted us to have me- names with me names with meanings. So, um, you know, my my father. Shout a, out a to little, brother Kill so on Friday. I know it bothers him because I don't share my name because no, your name has meaning. Right. So my name, my first name means brilliant. And my middle name means um, excellent. And and Kamal, that's my youngest son. His name means DJ me. Kamal. I'm <laughs> always call him that because I thought he was gonna be a DJ. At the time of this recording, he's a senior in high school. Whoa! Yeah, he graduates in 2023. And then Malik, he'll be 27 this year. Jesus, and married Malik, and all. Yeah. Damn. And Malik means king. So, um, you know. So my my name has a meaning, but I think with also names, if somebody call you, you don't the the purpose of having a name is to identify. So if right. you say B, I'm gonna turn around. Right. That means it's working. Right. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not ignoring you. True. And I think it's just dope that you know I had mentioned on one of my posts today, like you literally started in the living room. Yeah. And like here we are right now in Fresh Topia. Like the movement is real. You got fans all over the globe. I just remember being in the verbal intercourse. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. The original VIs from like the tune in app and from like the first Fresh Radio website. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's back in man. Be so we- the verbal intercourse is the chat room that's on it's freshradio.com. And you know, we so hip hop, we named it. Uh, verbal intercourse where you're pretty much you know having a conversation with other like-minded people and Freshtopia is um, my record store it's on its fourth year it's almost January two, yeah third yeah yeah would be three in January is that right let me see yeah 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 um, and so basically what it was is because we did merch and the merch helped promote Fresh Radio right and it was really our logos and music shirts and music sayings I know I got them all and <laughs> so we was in another space when I got out the house and moved you know I wanted the station to be 
where I can bring artists in. You know, you, you can't bring everybody. You know, to Ray to your house, right. you can't bring everybody to the crib. Right. So we had a space, and then long story short, we ended up in this space. So we was really merch, and the station was here. And, you know, you can walk around a little better than you can now, because now I'm one of 36 black-owned record stores in the country. And as That's you can dope. hear in the background, we got the station playing, we got fam here, we watching the game, so, but this is like, you know, my wife called it the clubhouse. But, yeah, it but is. That's first <laughs> so that's why the, the tag is the place where we dwell. And it was, we was naming, like, Frestopia just before, Frestopia. before we spoke it into existence. Because we like, just wanted to get away and, like, like we want to be with people that get it. Exactly. And, and it's like, we just need to build Frestopia instead of Utopia. And everything is fresh, like in Smurf Village, everything is Smurfy, right? right. <laughs> everything with us is, is, is fresh. So. And you always here. Yeah, Frestopia. You always here. <laughs> so, to wrap it up, like, what you have, you have anything coming up? Like, what? What's in store with Fresh Radio, Fresh Topia? Um, I did terrestrial radio for 25 years. I'm not on terrestrial. I don't work for IR anymore, but I got something coming up I can't really plan. But that's also in a, a, a movement or, or a step forward for Fresh Radio at the same time. Uh, so I'm getting over that. Well, I'm going to handle that, so I really can't think past that right now because that's something that I'm working towards. That's um, but the next podcast, you, you, I'm sure you'll know. Yeah, no doubt. And I, and speaking of podcasts, like, for real, for real, like, you know, I've been supporting you before I even had a blog, before... I'm proud of and you. And I think, thank you. I think I started my blog and, and even this podcast because, like, between hip-hop, just... Like, because of Fresh Radio and just meeting different DJs and just knowing where hip-hop was going to be, like, in our era that, you know, I'm still 90s era hip-hop all day. So, like, I got to meet, like, you know, Red Alert in real life, like, from a child, just going to see him to now, like, that's Uncle Red. Like, he, first name basis, like, we, like, he knows me. He know like... I love him to you death. You call him Fred? You don't call him Fred? Call, no, no, no. I don't call him. I call him that. <laughs> nah. But, I mean, like... Nah, he, nah. He's, he's, he's the coolest he's legend. He's the coolest legend, nah. like, to the, to the, to the name, to, nah, the, to the heart. Not to have anything bad to say about Never. Him. Like, and... But, like, even with that, like, going to these events, getting press passes, because, like, just me being able to show, like, I'm a hip-hop head, for mm. real. But... The blog, the podcast, even the drops. Like, I made money doing drops because they heard my essay drops on Fresh uh, Radio. So, you know, I appreciate everything with that. Well, but well done, well done. this movement is, like, growing. Keeping yes, hip- a lot of people started businesses from, you know, it's a lot of different businesses and relationships and even marriages. Yeah, we you all dope. Saying? We all dope. We got push on the photos. You ain't got to call them all out just because, you know, some things don't yeah. work out. But shouts to push it definitely. But yeah. He was at our first event as well, and now he has Robert Phil's photography. Yeah, you know like I mean? I've everybody. Seen, I've seen uh, relationships uh, and come and go. But for the for for the most part, most of them are still together. That's why I want to say, but I mean, even marriages. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's True. a couple of marriages from, and they met at fresh at a fresh event. Yeah, because like I said, like all of my closest friends, my diehards for the last twelve years have come from Fresh Radio. Like they got me through through things. I got places to travel. Shout out to Gigi and Ebony ATL. A- ATL is also on um, Fresh Radio, fresh so up. check yep, check her up. out. But I met them through Fresh Radio. And if it wasn't for them, like if it wasn't for Fresh Radio, I mean, it, I would have never met them. And they've like been one, two of the best Steph Love, like local people that I would have never ran into had it not been for Fresh Radio and Fresh Fridays. So, and different walks of life and different backgrounds of religions of creed. And we all exactly. get together. You know what I mean? And it's, it's that music and it's that, that environment. So big up to all the ladies of Fresh, first of all. Shout out to the Freshians and, and ladies of Fresh, our, our, our fresh, you know, fresh radio queens. And then the Freshians is everybody. And, and the again, Fresh Kids. Like, yeah, Fresh Kids. Because <laughs> it's a lot home. of, right. 
And fresh you know, kids, like in I effect. said, it's like Smurf Village. Everything Smurf people here, everything's fresh. No doubt. So just shout out Fresh Radio, like where they can find you at and where you, you know, where 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 they can find DJ B and Fresh Radio at. All right, uh, Fresh Radio on all platforms. Uh, it's at Real Fresh Radio. Social media wise, it's freshradio.com and it should be up by the time you hit this podcast. Because <laughs> conveniently, uh, it, they moved, got my server company moved servers and then moved everything over, which caused none of my database to move over. And it's our 12th birthday. And my Happy website. birthday anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Download the Fresh Radio app. Um, iOS will be back soon. But on Android, it's in Google Play. If you want to listen to Fresh Radio on your iPhone and you don't have uh, the app, you can just go to Alpha Music, type in Fresh Radio. When you click radio, it will come right up. You'll see the Fresh Radio logo. Um, Alexa, any Alexa device, all you got to say is set your skill. Um, Alexa, I want my Fresh Radio. And anybody listening to this podcast, you got Alexa around, I think I might have set it off. <laughs> um, and hopefully something dope is playing. Um, nice. And Freshtopia, my record store. Uh, Freshtopia VA on all platforms and freshtopiava.com. And me, I'm DJ B, uh, but um, everything. Bees is the DJ on everything. So it's B E E S U S, the DJ on the gram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, TikTok, which I don't use, and <laughs> on Facebook is Bees and Shuttleworth. And I do have a DJ B Fresh Radio page, but I am faceless on Facebook. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I've been thank waiting you. to do this. I've been trying to get here, but definitely life glad happens, on it's the life. 12th anniversary birthday, yes. birthday anniversary of Fresh Radio. Check it out. And as always, spread love. It's the Brooklyn Highway. It's DJ B, Fresh Radio, Fresh Topia, Philly, the VA, Scratch Mechanics is the crew. All right? Hey, you want to know what the word is? You got to holler at Brooklyn Tie. She spreads love the Brooklyn way, all right? What's the word for Brooklyn Tie? You already know. It's the podcast, finally. You know what I mean? And guess what? It's consistent. Now, how dope was that? <laughs> Yo, we had so much fun. It's always fun when, you know, you get to chill at Freshtopia and just be surrounded by... Music and records, digging in the crates, like li- literally digging in the crates. Um, just records all over, merchandise, hoodies, all of that stuff. So, you know, after the episode, after we um had our little convo, we toasted me, him, my daughter, my son-in-law. Um, you know, so continue success to Fresh Radio, DJ B, Boss Lady. Shout out to all the Freshians, ladies of Fresh, you know. If you're in the Norfolk VA area, stop by his record shop. Follow him at Beezus the DJ on all platforms. Check him out on Fresh Radio. It's freshradio.com, Twitch, or both. You know, anytime you stop by the radio, uh, his record shop, I'm sure you'll catch him live, whether on Twitch or on Fresh Radio or both, like I said. So, I'll also again link the YouTube video that I did when I entered that I had when I um, interviewed him back in the days. So, you know, that's really all I have. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to share this podcast. You can listen everywhere you can find podcasts that check out my website and subscribe www.brooklyntienyc. Dot com and again that's b k l y n t y e n y c dot com. Uh, shop my merch also on my website. Follow me on Twitter and IG at Brooklyn Tie N Y C and that's b k l y n t y e n y c. And as always, shout out to Smiles. Uh, you can follow him at Smiles T F the number one. Um, you know, program director, producer, and more, everything pertaining to this podcast, keeping it together. Thanks to him. And once again, thanks for tuning in. As always, spread love. It's the Brooklyn Tower. Hey, it's Brooklyn Tower. <laughs> At 
Brooklyn Tide NYC. And spread love. It's the Brooklyn Tide Way.